Dear students, today in this session we shall discuss the different terminologies of a spur gear. So uh, in the figure we have shown a um, <coughs> small part of a spur gear. So uh, we here we have shown only two teeth of a spur gear and uh, we are going to discuss some uh, basic terminologies and these are the very important terminologies. Uh, uh, which is used for uh, studying. Uh, these terminologies are important from both uh, uh, examination point of view and uh, subject point of view. So uh, we shall see the first one. First one is circular pitch. So it is the distance from corresponding point of one tooth to the another tooth along the circumference of the pitch circle. It is denoted by P. So in the figure you can see there is a circular pitch. So they have shown uh, it is the distance from one point on one tooth and the same corresponding point on the next tooth or adjacent to tooth. So it is denoted by P. P is equal to pi m uh, where m is equal to module. So what is module we will see the in further. Um, next is diametrical pitch. So it is the ratio of number of teeth to the pitch circle diameter. So uh, if you take a complete spur gear, it will have many number of teeth on its circumference. So a diametral pitch, it is the ratio of total number of teeth present on the uh, pitch circle or, or the spur gear to the pitch circle diameter. So what is pitch circle? In the figure you can see there is a, a imaginary circle dotted lines shown. So it is the circle, um, pitch circle uh, where um, <coughs> the two uh, gears which are in contact or uh, which are meshing uh, the two pitch circles uh, um, touch each other so that is called uh, pitch circle module it is the ratio of pitch circle diameter to the number of teeth so module it will be the ratio of pitch circle diameter uh, to the number of teeth next backslash so it is the difference between width of tooth space and tooth thickness. So it is the difference between width of tooth space. Tooth space width uh, we have shown on the figure. Uh, it is the point between the two adjacent teeth. Uh, so backslash is the difference between width of tooth space and the tooth thickness. Next pitch point so it is the point where the two pitch circle meets so as i said for a pitch circle diameter it is the circle imaginary circle uh, which meets when the two gears are in contact or mating so uh, pitch circle of one gear and pitch circle of uh, the mating gear they both touch each other at a single point like a roller action when the two rollers are uh, rolling with each other so uh, that is what the pitch circle means so if we imagine uh, spur gears two spur gears to be two rollers then the uh, two points which meet that is the two circles which meet at a point so that point is known as pitch point and the circles is known as pitch circle and the diameter of this circle is known as pitch circle diameter next angle of obliquity or pressure angle so it is the angle between common tangent to the pitch circle and the pressure line. So this pressure angle we are not shown in the figure. So it is the angle between the common tangent to the pitch circle and the pressure line. Next path of contact. So it is the locus of point of contact of pair of tooth profiles from beginning of engagement to the end of engagement. So here path of contact is it is the locus of point of contact of pair of tooth profiles so when the two gears are mating each other so uh, path of contact is the uh, locus of the distance from beginning of uh, engagement to the end of engagement that is when the two gears meet we have to take from that point and up to the gears which move away from each other so up to that point we have to take the path of contact so path of approach it is the distance between beginning of engagement to the pitch point so uh, pitch point will be in the middle of the path of contact so from the locus if we take the locus of uh, uh, point from 
beginning of engagement to end of engagement then the pitch point will be at the center of the path so the path of approach is the distance between the beginning of engagement to pitch point and in the same way path of recess is the distance from pitch point to the en end of engagement so it is like if we combine path of approach and path of recess we will get the path of contact so uh, path of contact is the combination of path of approach and path of recess next contact ratio so the ratio of length of arc of action to the circular pitch so from the figure uh, you can see circular pitch it is the ratio of length of arc of action so length of arc of action it is the ratio of length of arc of action to the circular pitch next the arc of contact so it is the locus of point on pitch circle from beginning of engagement to the end of pair of teeth in mesh so it is the arc of contact uh, it is the arc which is taken from the beginning of uh, engagement of the two gears which are in mating and up to which they are uh, mating and up to which they are uh, ending their engagement next addendum so it is the radial distance of tooth above the pitch circle in the figure you can see at the top of the gear teeth there is a dotted line circle and the distance between the pitch circle to the top most circle so this distance radial distance is known as addendum in the figure it is clearly shown next didendum it is the radial distance between the pitch circle and the roots of the teeth so in the figure it is shown it is the radial distance between the pitch circle to the roots of the teeth that is at the end of the teeth the point where the teeth end so the up to that point if you take the radial distance then that is known as didendum next addendum circle the circle which passes through the tip of all tooth is known as addendum circle so addendum circle is the circle which moves at the tip of all the gear teeth next didendum circle the circle which passes through the root of all the teeth is known as didendum circle so if we take the circle uh, which passes through the root or end of all the teeth bottom most point of the teeth then that circle is known as didendum circle in uh, figure it is clearly shown addendum circle and uh, didendum circle they are clearly shown in the figure next clearance the difference between addendum of one gear and didendum of mating gear so if we take uh, the difference between addendum of one gear and uh, didendum of uh, mating gear then that difference is known as clearance so clearance it is also shown in this uh, figure here we have shown only one gear the mating gear is not shown in this figure so um, if we take the difference between the addendum of the mating gear and the uh, didendum of the present gi given gear then we will get the clearance clearance is clearly shown in the figure by two uh, dotted uh, lines or dotted arc or circles next pitch circle it is the circle corresponding to pitch cylinder that is shown in normal plane to the axis in the figure pitch circle it is the imaginary circle um, which passes along the entire uh, gear teeth and when the two gear teeth are meshing or contacting with each, each other the pitch circle they touches as i already explained next flank it is the surface of the tooth between pitch circle and the bottom so in the figure you can clearly see it is the surface of the tooth it is the surface of the tooth between pitch circle and bottom so if you take the surface uh, between pitch circle and bottom most position of the teeth then that part is known as flake face face it is the surface of the tooth between top land and pitch circle so you can clearly see from the figure so the distance or surface between the pitch circle and the topmost 
position or topmost point of the uh, gear teeth that part is known as face also top land is the uh, part of the um, surface that is on the top of the gear so on the top of the gear the flat surface present is known as top land and i have not given the definition of that also the face width is the uh, total width of the spur gear it is the total width of uh, gear as well as the teeth so both are same both are uh, same and it is equal to face width thank you guys